Greetings from the International Space Station. I'm NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei, along with my crewmates, NASA astronauts Kayla Barron, Raja Chari, and Tom Marshburn. Sixty years ago, on February 20th, 1962, one of the original Mercury astronauts, John Glenn, blazed a trail into the history books by launching on the Mercury Atlas 6 mission aboard the Friendship 7 capsule to become the first American to orbit the Earth. Glenn's mission spanned just three orbits of the Earth in less than five hours, but it accomplished three critical goals. To place a piloted spacecraft into orbital flight around the Earth, to observe human performance in such conditions, and to recover the human and the spacecraft safely back to Earth. The flights of Alan Shepard and Gus Grissom on suborbital missions in 1961 proved a launch capability. But questions remained as to whether the human body could withstand longer periods of weightlessness. John Glenn's pioneering mission erased those doubts. And in celebration of Black History Month, the Friendship 7 mission highlights another giant in NASA's history, Katherine Johnson. Due to the complexity of the flight and his wariness of leaving intricate mathematical equations up to machines, Glenn personally asked Johnson to run the orbital trajectory calculations for Friendship 7. All of us aboard the International Space Station want to honor John Glenn today for his remarkable achievements in both 1962 and his return to space aboard the shuttle Discovery in 1998, as well as his distinguished career in the U.S. Senate. Because of him, we are heading back to the moon and on to Mars and beyond.